the newest addition to my craft room, the Brother Scanning Cut. It's this really cool new cutting machine that allows you to cut tin, paper, fabric with all these different types of contraptions and attachments. And you don't need to plug it into a computer, you don't need cartridges, you can size or resize your own images or images that come within the machine and then cut away. I cut a lot of my own stencils and I decided to try the Scan and Cut to make it easier and it worked. So now I'm going to show you how I did it. I started with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock scrap of paper and I just randomly drew a flower. Now keep in mind, see that circle in the middle? That's not gonna work. When you're cutting a stencil, you need to have solid black designs, which I forgot about when I drew this design. But that's okay because it still came out really cool. Next, I took the picture and I inserted it into the scan mat that will then be fed into the machine and scanned in at 300 dpi. Now that my image is scanned in, it's time to cut my stencil. Using another piece of heavy cardstock, I put it on the mat and loaded it into the machine. There was my design, and now it's time to cut. I have my blade set on nine. You can raise it or lower it depending on what type of material you're putting through the cutter. couple of tie-dye shirts, but then I changed my mind and decided to do something else. I spray painted my stencil onto a canvas and now I'm going to glitter it up. I just used some clear tacky glue and I'm painting that on and then I'm going to pour the glitter on top of it and it'll be done. And here is some more of my glittered stencil pieces that I make and sell and give to friends. And now my Scan and Cut is going to make my life so much easier when it comes to making these canvases. For more information on the Scan and Cut machine, visit scanandcut.com. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, and for more crafty ideas, visit my site, craftychica.com.